To start, we need a door opening video. Head over to pixaba.com search for door open and download. Import the door opening video and drag it to the timeline. Let's take the door opening video with a green screen as an example. Go to the video options and click on cutout. Then select chrome key, choose the color picker and select the green color to remove it. Adjust the settings until you achieve the perfect result. Now, we select the video after opening the door and drag it to the timeline. Let me play the video and show you what we have. Next, if we choose a door opening video without a green screen, what should we do? Move the playhead to the position where the door starts to open. Next, head to the library and add a green screen effect. You can adjust the zoom to focus solely on the green screen element. Then, go to the mask, choose rectangle, Adjust mask position and size as needed. Add the first mask keyframe at this point. Progress the playhead position. Adjust the mask scale width and position as needed at each point until the green screen is fully visible. Then, we can use it as a green screen overlay. To make it even more versatile, right-click, create a compound clip. Next, go to Cutout. Enable chroma key from Cutout. Use the color picker to select the green color and increase the strength value until the green screen is completely visible. Now, we select the video after opening the door and drag it to the timeline. Let me play the video and show you what we have. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. To start, drag two videos into the CapCut timeline and choose one to overlay on the other. 
Click on the overlay video, then go to mask tab and choose mirror. Rotate the mirror to 90, adjust the size, and position it as desired. Next, add a slide up animation from the animation menu. Adjust duration. At the point where the animation is complete, duplicate the overlay. Go to the screen, shifting masking slightly to the right. Continue this pattern until the whole video is revealed. That's it! If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching! To start, drag and drop the video into the timeline. Move the second video to where you want to add a video transition. Then let's select the second video clip, go to the mask option and choose the mirror style. Rotate it to your preference and adjust the feathering for a seamless look. Add keyframes at the second video beginning. Shift your cursor, move forward, and then drag the mask line, another keyframe auto add. You can also spice it up with an animation effect. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Use this video as an example. First, create an overlay with the same video. Just right click on the video and select copy. Then right click above it and select paste. Then go to the right side of the interface and click cutout lotto cutout. Select the background video and add it between the two videos. Then hit the mask button select horizontal. Split it this way and feather it out a little bit. And hopefully it covers well. 
Move it to the first. And add a keyframe using the little diamond icon on the right side of the mask. Move it forward slightly. Add another keyframe. And adjust the mask to follow. Keep doing this throughout the video. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. To start, drag and drop the video files into the timeline area. Next, when you reach the point where you want to add the white line transition between two video clips, head over to the Transitions tab. Find the comparison to transition Drag and drop it between the two video clips. Adjust the duration of the transition to match the length you desire between the two video clips. You can easily do this by dragging the edges of the transition effect on the timeline. Make any necessary adjustments to the timing and position until you are satisfied with the result. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more video editing tutorials. Feel free to leave your questions or feedback in the comments section. I will do my best to respond. Thanks for watching. To start, Drag and drop your video onto the timeline. Click on the clip. Go to the Animation tab. Choose out because we want to fade out to black. Select Fade Out, as you can see here. Click on it. Now, the video is slowly fading out to black. If you want to adjust the duration, use the slider down here. Currently, it's 0.5 seconds. Let's make it 4 seconds. Now, it's fading out over 4 seconds. Thank you for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, consider subscribing and liking this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! To start, let's find a suitable background. Add your text. Feel free to type anything you like. You can customize the text with colors, effects like glow, and more. Duplicate the text layer, change the text if needed.
Right click and select Create Compound Clip. Do the same for the other text. Next, when you reach the point where you want to add the transition between the text clips, head over to the Transitions tab. Find the transition you like, drag and drop it between the two text clips. Adjust the duration of the transition to match the length you desire between the two text clips. You can easily do this by dragging the edges of the transition effect on the timeline. Once you're satisfied, simply click Apply to All and watch the magic happen as the transition is applied to all your clips seamlessly. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.